Cleverly has said that the new restrictions on student visas will come into force today to end the unreasonable practice of overseas students bringing their families to the UK. And about time too, you might say. And the ban affects all students but those enrolling on postgraduate courses and those with government-funded scholarships. James Cleverly hopes the ban will cut migration by tens of thousands. And haven't we heard that before? Well, joining me now to discuss the visa clampdown is the executive director of Migration Watch, Mike Jones. Mike, thanks for joining us on the show and a very happy new year to you too. Um, let's hope we have a happier new year and finally getting a handle on legal migration, which of course this is designed to do. This legislation kicks in as of today. No more dependents, but for a small amount of students. And they're hoping to cut back as many as 140,000 fewer people coming to the UK each year. The big question is, Mike, will this work? Well, potentially, yes. Um, there's lots of low-hanging fruit there. I mean, when I graduated in 2005, uh, there were around 200,000 student visas issued. Today, that's just shy of 650,000, and more than 100,000 of those people are student dependents. Um, these changes have come into place since Brexit. Historically, uh, the largest international student co cohort were Chinese students, but less than 1% of those students brought with them dependents. Since then, we've seen large increases from Nigeria and India. You know, 23% of Indian nationals and 54% of Nigerian nationals on student visas are dependents. And that's completely unsustainable because obviously dependents are mostly economically inactive and a net drain on, on the British taxpayer. And Mike, how much of an issue is this that you think warrants some kind of inquiry or severe probe? Because it's been an open secret for years now that people are paying £9,000 tuition fee, often then drop out of their course, they're staying in the country, and even if they do graduate, Mike, two-thirds of people now are remaining in the country after finishing their studies, compared to like 20% only a few years ago. So there's no denying, Mike, that be it being an overseas student is a cheap and efficient and fast way of getting into the UK. Yeah, absolutely. Um, one of the promises that the government made to the British public was to take back control of the immigration system. But what they've actually done is they've outsourced it to the higher education sector, you know, which is like putting Count Dracula in charge of the blood transfusion service. You know, universities will obviously want large numbers of students studying at their institutions, but the government have made this this easy. They've established a graduate visa route, which allows um, postgraduates to stay in this country for two years with very few strings attached. And obviously there are no restrictions on student dependence. And where you have a decrease in, in European students, and a large spike from, from India and Sub-Saharan Africa, you know, obviously you're going to have more spouses and children accompanying these people. And as you say, it's a backdoor into low and semi-skilled work, which is not good for the British national interest. And, and Mike, um, briefly, if we could, action finally, but the big question is, will it be enough or is it too little too late? Um, it'll make a difference, but uh, you know, this is last chance saloon for the government. Ultimately, they need a cap on work visas, they need a cap on student visas um, and they need to bring the number of people coming into the country and people leaving into balance, you know, balance migration. Uh, we would need much more radical action for it to make a substantial difference. OK, superb stuff. Director of Migration Watch, Mike Jones, thanks for joining us on the show. What do you think out there? Um, they finally clamped down on New Year's Day. Will it be enough to save them from getting wiped out at the next election? Let us know your thoughts, GBviews at GBnews.com. We've got loads more coming in the next hour. Loads of politics, loads of